Hey, welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. It's with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. And in this study, we are going to be doing the ocean waves as we continue on our outward journey of learning about planet Earth. Now, it's really motivated by this stitch. It's actually called the Lark's Foot Track Stitch. I saw it a uh, first time on Yarn Inspirations, and then I applied it into a bag called the Rising Tides Bag, and then I loved it so much I figured out how to do it in a hexagonal uh, format. So within this one, you will see that your study of planet Earth, your, your waves, will start to go really quite amazing using that self-striping yarn that I really love. So without further ado, let's learn how to do the Lark's Foot track stitch and begin to do your waves now. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This was my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. This is lesson number six. This is the second week before the end and what we have is where the water meets the coast and what we have is the splashing waves that are up onto the shore. This one here is going to be a very interesting week because some of you are absolutely going to love it and some of you are going to like oh if I don't hear complaints, I'll be very surprised. So what we're going to do is do, we're gonna get you started. This is a really easy repeat idea. It's just gonna take a little bit of time for you to be able to learn it and then once you got it, you got it. So on page number two, a lot of instructions right here and the reason for it is that it's really quite simple to do when you look at it from a, um, a diagram point of view. And what you're going to notice is that there's going to be some arrows, there's going to be some, um, um, what's this called, this is a treble and what you're going to see that it's going to be lining straight up and down. So let me tell you my thought process and then we're going to get you started from that point. When we go to start this process, we're going to continue then into row number 42. So we have 41 already completed. Now you'll notice that there's red arrows. So after this particular round, what you have to do is you have to turn the afghan and go back in the other direction. If you continue to go in the same thing of going around and around, these will not line up. So you need the, the every other row to turn backwards and just go the other way. So you'll notice that here up along the side. You will notice that there's one, two, three, four, five of these um, pieces here. This is the trebles and they're leaning over. They will always line up to each other once you get the start and once you get the start it's really quite easy. So you're going to notice on the very outside here if you look at it here when we start off a corner you'll notice that there's one stitch here and then and next time there will be two and three four and etc. just like you see. So what we need to do is that we need to get ourselves established and get this all these uh, started. You'll notice that there's three single crochets from the corner so that includes the corner one and then there will be three left over on the other side and then once you get it done and then you continue to move up you can just keep on in line and it gets really quite simple. So hopefully this is gonna make a lot of sense for you but once I start showing you how to do this you're gonna be able to rock this on. So what we have to do in row, round number 42 is that we have to get ourselves established so it will be three single crochets in a row first and then chain one, skip one and then four in a row and then skip one, chain one, skip one, and then four in a row and you keep doing that all the way till you get to the first side before you're turning and there will be three left over. If your count is off, make sure you do have your three left over in the end. Just kind of fake it if you have to and then you'll get yourself established. So hopefully at this point your counts are in check and we're gonna continue along. So let's start row num round number 42. So last time I left you we did all of this work. Now we have the two ridges that you see and now we're continuing on. So round number 42. You're gonna chain up one and you are going to place in then one single crochet in between the single crochet join. Just like you see. And then what we're going to do is that you are going to skip the first chain two which is this one and just go to the second one over. You're going to notice on this one here, I didn't put it out in the chart but you're gonna skip the very first stitch this first time and the very last stitch on these corners. Okay, so you're just gonna do that. So you're just gonna skip this one right at the end and you're doing that so that you can stay in balance. So what we have to do now is that we're gonna skip the first one and then just double or single crochet in the next two. So we skip the first one, go to the next one. So one, and two. So now we're gonna chain one, skip one and single crochet in the next four. So one, two, three and four. And then chain one, skip one and then go into the next four. So one, two, three and four. So what I want you to do is maintain that all the way across to the first corner and I'll see you there in just a moment and we're just going to just make sure that you know how to turn and then I'll leave the rest of this round for you to be able to play with. 
So I'm coming up all the way to the other side. So what I want to do is that I wanna skip one and I'm going to single crochet then in the next three. So they're technically, so something happened with me is that I missed a stitch somewhere along the path. So I'm gonna put myself right in the back track. There's no point in me always posting an accurate uh, um, video. Sometimes you have to show how to fake it. So I need three stitches in here. So all I'm just gonna do is put the next three and you're technically to skip this last one but I put one in and I'm just going to single crochet in the final which is the corner. So there should only be three in there. So technically this should have been left untouched but in my case you know you just gotta work it or fake it or make it. So now we're gonna chain up one and then single crochet into this one. So I am gonna start off right because I'm gonna assume that the side is right. So this is the first stitch. I'm gonna skip it and then go into the next one and then two and then chain one and skip one and do the next four. So one two, three, and four. Just like that. So I'm gonna continue then on this side and then I'm gonna turn as normal and just uh, keep on going around and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 42. Just so I'm recording it just for my own satisfaction, the second uh, side I did, I actually can skip the last one like I'm supposed to and just single crochet right into a corner. So I don't know, something just happened on that first uh, edge. Who knows? I'm not gonna worry about it so that's what we're gonna continue to do. So I'm gonna skip the next one and then just go to the second over for the next two. So one and two, chain one, skip one and do the next four and keep doing that all the way across. So as I came back around I just did this. Now only one side was short one stitch just for total transparency here and I was pretty excited about that because I thought well if they're all screwed up then I probably done something wrong. So it's just one side that I was short. So I faked it. You saw me do it. So I've just uh, single or single crocheted in the final um, space where we started and you can see that it's been established and I'm going to slip stitch, sorry I'm going to join with the single crochet to the top of the other single crochet to form the corner. So in this particular pattern every other round we have to turn the blanket over. So what we have to do before we begin is that I'm going to just turn it over you probably hear my mic scuff a little bit. Sorry about that. You're gonna turn it over and go to the back side and now we're gonna go in this direction. So every other row in this set or every other round in this section we have to turn it around. So whenever you're doing these single crochet rounds of straight single crochet you have to turn it to the back side of the project. I'm going to take you to the diagram because I wanna explain something because this is consistent throughout the whole thing. So when we're looking at the pattern what I've just done is that I came around on round number 42 and now I turn the project and now we're gonna go to 43 and we're going in the opposite direction. So I turn it over so I can do that. So you're going to see every other row is just straight single crochet. So if you just squint a little bit see the blue and so when we go to do this single crochet row again what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have some of these trebles that are dipping down. It all still looks the same. So it's still single crochets in each. What we're looking for primarily is see these chain one spaces that we had? We're gonna be filling that in with the single crochet and then the next round when we go to turn the project back to the good side and we do these front post troubles is that we are going to go into the stitch that we skipped way down here and we're gonna be picking those up. So every time you do these dipping ones that you see you're going to be creating a chain one space and then when you have to do it again that's where you're gonna go so it keeps on dipping down. So let's try number 43. We're going in the opposite direction on the other side. So as I said no matter how you're looking at it each one of these are going to be filled in with a single crochet including the chain one space. So watch those chain one space make sure that you, you did it. So you're gonna chain up one to begin and then in the space of where you joined it you're going to single crochet. And you're going to single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. So in the corners you will put one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So here's a chain one space. Fill it in and then keep on going. So I'll see you at the first corner and what this is doing is providing the backdrop for where those uh, trebles go in front. So here's another chain one space. Fill it in. So you will be able to see it more definely. So when you turn it over you'll see that there and then that's where you're gonna be playing for those dipping uh, front post trebles. So continue that. I'll see you in the first corner to make sure you're turning properly and then we'll continue from that point. So as they come to the first corner it's no different than what we have been doing. So we're just going to just keep filling in everything that we need to fill in and go right to the, so let's just examine this corner. So what we have here is that we have the first side of the corner and then we have the chain one space and then we have on the other side of the corner. So we're gonna go into the stitch just before the corner 
then we go into the actual corner itself. So single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So where you're going to go wrong in your stitch counts. See this stitch right here? This is part of that, that corner. So you have to go into that stitch before you continue along. So see my point being is that people that are getting confused in earlier rounds they immediately jump here. So it causes the corner to lean over. So you want to get into this stitch before that one. So that's there and then start and therefore you'll keep your corners nice and even. So you're just gonna just single crochet again just fill in those chain one spaces and I'll see you at the end of this round. And this is round number 43 and then we're gonna start the really fun stuff after this round. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just going to finish off the corner. So I am really am paying attention. See this uh, chain one space? I'm paying attention to all these stitches that we did going all the way around. So we knew that, well I knew that we had three single crochets after we did this chain um, one space. So I wanna make sure that I'm following the stitches just like I'm supposed to. So here is the first corner that we started with. So we're gonna just do that. So just single crochet and then join it to the first single crochet with, with the single crochet. So we're just going to finish that off. So what I'm gonna do is, is now turn the project. So we're gonna turn again. So every other round as I mentioned we're just gonna turn this project over. So when we do the surface overlay kind of idea of the trebles you're always gonna be able to see it. So it's easy to keep in count. And what we want to pay attention to is these chain one spaces because that's where they're gonna fall to. Let's go back to the diagram. Let's explain a little bit further. So as we're doing this I want you to know and look at how this pattern is gonna go. So we've turned the project we're now going to 44. So we're gonna chain up one and one single crochet in the single crochet join and then we're gonna single crochet in the next two. We're then going to do a front post treble to the one that we skipped down here. And then we're gonna single crochet into the next one, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next one and then treble all the way back down over to where we were. And the next one is trebling to the next one over here. So what we can do is we can get ourselves established. So see how there was three stitches here before the corner? If you go to the other side when we go to finish that there will be three on this side. So if you want to really keep a count on things that's what you wanna look for. If you're missing a stitch or there's an extra stitch you can really almost fake it at this point and just skip over it and just fill it in as you see it. You can almost really get away with that on this particular pattern. I know I'm not supposed to give that kind of advice but you know sometimes it's just better just to fake it than it is to um, being with a frog so much work. So you're gonna have these trebles that come down. So we have one, two, three, four, five and you're gonna finish with the treble as being the last item. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this and then the next round you just turn around and single crochet in each. So the chain one space is still there just like you saw it here. So you're just gonna fill it in and then the next round you start number of uh, the next one where is it? It's 46 and so there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five stitches before you start this uh, configuration again. So it gets more and more uh, further out from the corner the way the, when you do that. So really look at this diagram and really count that out and make sure that it's gonna fit. Once you understand this pattern you can pretty much put down the pattern, throw in the TV and you'll be good to go. Let's start then and show you how to do this fun stuff. So let's get going. We're going to chain up one and we're going to put in a single crochet where it's done the join. So that's one of three stitches. We're going to single crochet in the next two and that's as per the diagram. So here's what we're going to do and it's gonna feel wrong the very first time you're really starting to do this but watch how it's done. You're going to do a treble and see this skip stitch? You wanna just access it from the front side and keep it to the front side. So push it through that hole but put the needle or the hook on the front side and pull through and then pull through two, two, two. So this treble counted as the next stitch in line. So you're just in front of that one and then you're gonna single crochet in this second one over. Okay, so that one counted as that first one and then you single crochet the next. You're going to chain one, skip the next one and then single crochet in the next. This chain one should match directly over top of the other one because the points all come to the same spot. You're then going to treble into the one that you just did. So wrap twice and come into the same one. Again poking it through the hole but putting the needle to the front side here to keep it on the front side and then treble. So that's one of the configurations that you're going to do. Once you have that done you're immediately going to do this again. So wrap twice and jump all the way to the next one over here. Keep the hook to the front side and treble. 
So these two trebles count as these two single crochets that it's in front of. So you're just going to go to the third one over, single crochet, chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next. Again, these chain one spaces line up to each other. You're then going to do another treble into the same one down here and then keep on jumping. So let's do it one more time. So you're just gonna treble and just kind of immediately come to the next one. Seems like a long way away but it's it will pull together. And so that counted as these two and then single crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next and again these holes line up. So what I want to do is that I wanna do that all the way across and then at the end of this round we're gonna turn it around and just single crochet which I'm gonna leave with you because we've already concentrated on that. So these single crochet spaces that you see are just gonna be filled in with the single crochet when you turn it around, right? So there's nothing really different about this round versus the last one that we just did. So let me get to the first corner and then I'll show you what to do and then I'm gonna leave the rest of this particular section with you and then I'll pick you back up on row round number 53, 54 and 55 which is something that you already know from the row, uh, from the previous weeks that we've done. So let's uh, meet you at the first corner. So I'm coming up close to the other corner and I'm just following the pattern as I've already told you and I'm doing my last front post treble here. Now remember what I said is that in this round there was three stitches left. So we don't immediately jump to another to create another one of these but that counts as this one that's by itself here. So usually it was counting as two because you had the second one leaning over. So it's just one and so there should be three stitches left over. So one, two, and the third one is in the corner. Okay and then chain one and single crochet into the same corner and then restart back out. So we start here. So remember how, how many is in this case it's three. So one, two and three and then restart that configuration. So I want you to go all the way around just like you already know it and um, when you get all the way around you're just going to join it with the slips or with the single crochet join, turn your work and you're going to single crochet. I want you to then go back to the diagram and just count the number of stitches. So let's go do that next. So when you turn around you will do your single crochets across all the way and then you're gonna turn it around and then go back. So this time there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five before starting that. So you want to keep an eye on that so there will be five left on this side. And then when you go to redo it again in the future it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's always growing by two. So then the next time you do it it'll be nine and then the next time you will do it I think it'll be um, 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So you wanna keep doing that as you're going around and it's really an easy round. It's just gonna take, I feel like it's a really quite slow and it kind of is but the detail is just fantastic and I think it's worth it and it will really mix up your colors really quite beautifully as you're doing this. So I'm gonna leave this section with you now and then when we come back we're going to start row number 53 which is the same thing as just double crocheting in each one of these stitches and then the next two rounds are just the back post double crochets and we'll cover that when we get there. So I'm going to just be away for a little bit and in your timing I will be back in just a moment. Hey there, I just wanted to make sure that you're understanding what I'm saying. So I, I've just come all the way around I was just watching TV and I thought okay I'm gonna just turn around and then just come down and just show you. So I've done the first round of these front post trebles. So now I'm gonna turn my work again and just single crochet. So to turn then just chain up one and one single crochet in where it's being joined. Okay so right when the single crochet join and then you're just going to single crochet in each of the stitches. Now what you wanna watch for the most is that you have to watch these um, stitches right in the center here. So you're just going to single crochet in each of the stitches. Okay so the you're gonna come across. So this is a chain one space that will be used later. Okay so we're gonna actually use this stitch later when we do the next point in that goes down. So you're just gonna fill in the space with the single crochet to keep that open and then you just keep on going. So you wanna make sure that you're kind of watching for that one as you're going all the way. So remember if you wanna keep counts it's there's four stitches in between these. So this is the space and then you can go one, two, three 
and four and then there's a space. I wouldn't recommend that so much but if you're a person that likes to do that you can and therefore you're doing it and so the space will be available for the next time you go down. So that's uh, I just wanted to make sure I clarified that before I went out any further because uh, it's too late once I get too far in this project to backtrack without having to frog my work. So I will see you then at the end of this section you will have uh, five of these uh, going down and then I'm gonna meet you up and do the final three rows and just verify that with you before moving on to week number seven the final week which is next week. So when I last left you we were down here on the very base here and now there is going to be five of these trebles that go across and so the last row is these trebles that you're doing across and now we're gonna continue then the rest of the afghan. So you got some great news. The great news is that you don't need to be manic about counting any longer. So you can actually just continue just to follow this now and even right to the border. So that's a nice thing that you can do. So don't add any extra stitches but you don't have to be so conscious about it. So that's a nice thing. So what we're gonna do now for the next three rounds I'm gonna take you back to the diagram because you already did this because the next three rounds is already what you did here. So it's a double crochet round and then two rows of back post double crochet. So I'm gonna leave that for you because we've already covered that because we keep doing that same thing all throughout this whole thing. So I was trying to be consistent when doing this so that you could have a bit of a mental break instead of all this beautiful texture and etc. Let's go back to the diagram and just quickly review and then I'm gonna leave the rest of this clue for you. So I know this took a long time to do. Um, I just did this. This is my fifth time doing this afghan and either time it just takes a bit of time but you got some beautiful texture and texture takes a little bit of time. So back to the diagram we go and we are no longer gonna be turning it back and forth and we're now going to start round 53. We're gonna chain up three counts as a double crochet and then we're just gonna do one double crochet in each of the stitches including the chain one space here as we're going across. The corners will be a double crochet, chain one, one double crochet and then carry on. So right where you have these end pieces just like you see is that you will have to put a double crochet in those chain one spaces. So back here what we have is round 54, 55 is in the back post only. So you chain two which counts as a half double crochet. One back post in each of them going all the way to the cross. The corners are then one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet and continue. Round 55, exactly what you just did in round 54. I'm gonna leave these three rounds for you because we've already been doing this consistently throughout your whole afghan. I'm gonna leave that for you and then we're gonna join me next week. So next week there's only I think two rounds to do. I, it could be three but it, I think it's only two rounds to do in order to complete your final afghan. So you're actually at the point where you're almost done. So I know the last clue took a while to do uh, when you see it here but you have to have that texture once in a while. So people say well I've heard about people People saying oh I don't want to do the single crochet. If you don't do the single crochet then all of the texture here doesn't really appear to be so magnificent. So you need something that will settle down. So just like you have the single crochet here in the corner it settles it down so that it really can make all this pop. So get those three rounds done. Round 53, 54, 55 and we'll see you next week. Five, it's the Lark's Foot Track Stitch. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. You can actually really apply this one. There's actually a charity afghan with this particular stitch that I think that you'll really love too. And you'll find that over at Yarnspirations. So thank you so much to our friends at Yarnspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd. Until then, we'll see ya.